My name is Emmanuel Sebidiako, pastor of the ICGC Seekers Temple branch, Boshe Hacho. I come your way this moment to give you an invite to the Lord Jesus Christ. The Bible says, according to the book of Romans chapter 3, verse 23, it says, For all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. What that scripture really means is that all have gone astray, you and I, have gone astray from the intention and the purpose of God for our lives. When you read the Bible according to Romans chapter 6 verse 23, the Bible recalls and says, it says the wages of sin is death. So because of our sin, our end was supposed to be death, eternal condemnation. But God, by his grace and his mercies, have made a provision for us through his son Jesus Christ. The Bible says in the book of John, chapter 3, the verse number 16, he said, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that anyone who believeth in him shall not perish, but shall have eternal life. If you will believe on God Jesus Christ, you are no more condemned. You have eternal life. We live sometime under the deceit that when we attain much in life, when we become much in life, and we get to heights of position in life, we will be fulfilled in life. Dear, let me tell you, that is not the truth. I have seen people who supposedly seem to be successful, but still have this emptiness in their soul. The Bible, according to the book of Matthew chapter 16, verse 26, says that, what shall it profit a man if you gain the whole world and yet you lose your soul. It means that it's possible that you can have all your dreams met. It's possible you can have all your dreams come through, attain all you want to attain here on earth. But if you lose your soul, the Bible says, what profit has it got? It is worthless. And for this reason, I came to invite you that let the salvation of your soul be the most important decision that you will take in your life. I invite you to take this all important decision. The Bible says with the heart one believes unto salvation and with the mouth confession is made. I want to invite you if you believe and you want to receive Jesus Christ as your Lord and your personal Savior, pray this prayer with me. Say, dear Lord Jesus, come into my heart. I know I am a sinner and I cannot save myself. You send your son Jesus to die for my sin. I receive you as my Lord and my personal savior. I thank you Lord for accepting me into the beloved. Amen. Brethren, if you prayed this prayer with me, I want you to know that though your dress you were wearing before the prayer have not changed, though your location may have not changed, something significant had changed. Because the Bible says, according to the book of Colossians chapter 1, verse 13, that therefore we have been translated from the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of his dear son. Heaven is rejoicing because your soul is saved now. If you have accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and personal Savior, I want to encourage you, find a Bible-believing Christian church where you go, and when you go, introduce yourself to the man of God, the pastor, who I believe will help you to grow in your newfound faith. Above all, take heed and read your scriptures so you can grow your faith. I love you. God loves you more. Keep watching Dew TV, a drop of blessing. Amen.